Hi, air set. Sorry, water signs. <laughs> um, I uh, have decided to do love readings um, because I did find out that uh, Venus is going through the sign of Pisces, and that will explain kind of this lighter energy that's in the air, hopefully for you as well, since you are a water sign. And, um, you know, for me, I've been hearing these very sappy old love songs that I, I don't listen to. I haven't heard it in a million years, but they're just playing in a loop. I go to sleep, I'm hearing them. I wake up, I'm hearing them. I go through the day, I'm hearing them. And so kind of explains that uh, for me. The deal with Venus moving through Pisces. Venus is the planet of love, creativity, abundance, fertility, and Pisces is a sign that is very idealistic and loves, you know, gentleness and kindness and romance and, um, they're the fee, the big feelers, right? Um, of the zodiac, and at the same time, you know, they 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 have a very dreamy quality to them. Um, they oftentimes are in love with love, and they're very Lance romance. Uh, all good qualities to have. Um, and at the same time, the Pisces energy can be full of illusion, sometimes delusion. Uh, doesn't want to see what is right in front of them because it doesn't match their fantasy or the plan that they had or the dream that they had. And that can kind of hurt them. So that's impacting all of us right now. So there's kind of two things that could be happening is you can really, really enter into this like very lovely, dreamy, fairy tale romance during this time. And at the same time, it's about, it looks like it, well, I think it sounds like it's been, it's going to be about three weeks or something like that. So going I think somebody said to February 7th, 8th, something like that. Just pump the brakes date. You get an offer. Kind of wait, think, ponder, get to know the person better. Think about the offer a little longer. Because the... Energy can be a little bit sort of like under the moonlight. And that was some, uh, was shuffling my cards and another odd thing I haven't thought about in a billion years that came to me was the owl and the pussycat. And I'll uh, post in the description box that poem, but I Googled it. I'm like, what? The owl and the pussycat. But I remember the owl and the pussycat, they were in this little canoe and they were on a romantic trip underneath the moon and um you know it's a nursery rhyme so okay so i for all of the signs already pulled a moonology card and it looks like we are still dealing with the eclipse energy so expect powerful change could be that new love is coming in and it's it's, you've been kind of in a drought and oh my gosh, like, wow, this is amazing. Um, and it could be um, coming out of disillusionment and anything in between, okay? Something's gonna change quickly. Then I really just, because of all this like natural stuff that I was seeing and this very dreamy moonlight coastal spin with the owl and the pussycat, um, I decided I wanted to hear from the Celtic goddess deck and we got a blessing of fire. I mean, look at her, va 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 boom. Sorry about my lighting. I don't have 
professional lighting, I have a lamp that doesn't have its lampshade on it. And so you're seeing the light bulb shine and everything, but it is what it is. Um, a blessing of fire. So very sexy, va 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 voom, you know, meow, energy there. Bow chicka bow bow, go for it. And at the same time, a blessing for those who are nearing their final breath. And the way that I'm taking this within the context of this energy is look, if there is something, a relationship, a situation that needs to come to an end, let it die. Pray for strength, pray for guidance, pray to allow everyone involved to move through it peacefully and gracefully and with forgiveness and compassion towards each other and towards the situation and, um, you know, transmute it into something that's going to be better for you. Um, because in Venus and Pisces, you know, we get to dream about what that perfect, perfectly imperfect helpmate looks like, you know, um, soulmate, whatever. And if you're stuck in one in a relationship that you've outgrown, let it die. Easier said than done. I know. I've it, I've just I've just gone through that. Okay, um, but it has to it has to die. And it could be that when you let something die, it can be in the current form that it's in. So if you're in a relationship that's a codependent relationship and you recognize you're over-functioning for your partner, or maybe you're under-functioning and letting them do all the work and handle everything because you don't want to make a mistake and then get blamed for it. Well, no. That dynamic has to die. It has to come to an end so that you have a more adult, mature, true soulmate, helpmate, partnership, giving and taking, balanced, you know, lovely, idealistic, ideal relationship. Okay? So, Pisces, what, I'm sorry. Y'all are the last ones. Water signs. What? do you need to know what do the water signs need to know what's the situation that they are going through or energies they are going through situations they are going through right now what they need to be aware of is venus moves through pisces Venus moves through Pisces. Ugh, a mess. Um, okay. Lovely. Self love first. Uh, new potential. Um, healing. Uh, what's the word I want? I guess compassion, self-compassion. Just your cup is just being doused right now. And it's overflowing. It has the potential to over maxi overflow with love. I wonder if you've really been like, well, in healing too, right? But I wonder if you've been really praying for this. That's my dog and my cat. Um, okay, so lots of 
overflowing, loving energy, very spiritually. I'm sorry, I got to pause. I, I, I can't. Okay, sorry. So he, so I said healing, and then um, I did not pay attention until I got up to tell them to behave. Um, that it looks like you may have been carrying quite a heavy burden. Yeah. Maybe you've worked to come into this place of healing, or maybe, you know, that you're ready to lay that burden down and come into balance, a more balanced place or state. But there's an opportunity here for you to do that. To not have to work so hard and be so burdened. Okay. Water signs, water signs, water signs. Let me turn this down. Okay, so <clears throat> what is the action step? What do water signs need to do right now with this new healing, loving, compassionate, renewed sense of love within themselves. Mm -hmm. What do they need to do? Water signs, so peaceful, healing, cup runneth over. What do they need to do? Water signs, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, what do they need to do? I, I'm trying to shuffle a different way because I just, it's taking too long to shuffle and this, it's never taken this long to shuffle. I don't know why suddenly I go on YouTube and it's like taking 40 years to get a card to fly out and it didn't before. I've shuffled the same way. We we're flying out before. I don't know what it is. And I've tried to do what the other, you know, readers do and they kind of like bang the cards like that. And that's, I'm not going to do that, it's too much. Um, but I can't do it. Nothing perfect. Only progress. It's too many cards. I'm going to look at them, but. holding on to something too tight or being too rigid I think it's time to let go of that um, and be more expansive and action oriented and spontaneous and um, balanced. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just hearing love doesn't have to be that hard. You don't have to work that hard. It shouldn't be all on you. Water signs. Water signs. What do you want water signs to know? Water signs. What do water signs need to do with this opportunity of love and healing and cup floweth over? What do water signs need to do with this energy? What do water signs need to do with this energy? Well, water signs, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so in one of the other readings, the song um, that's still playing in my head right now, or just came back to playing in my head right now, is um, uh, I'm going to need some whiskey glasses because I don't want to see the truth. It's probably making out on the couch right now with someone new. I'm going to need some whiskey glasses if I'm going to see the truth. I don't know exactly how it goes with something like that. So if you've been carrying the load and not paying attention to yourself and taking care of yourself and loving yourself first um, and living in denial, like I said to whoever that was, whichever reading that was, I don't know. Being the queen of denial, the king of denial. No, you have a new opportunity right now. It's being handed to you. During this transit, it's time to come out of delusion and illusion. Or it's time to believe that you are worthy and loved by spirit and God and can... Put down the struggle, the burdens that you're carrying because you don't have to work that hard. You don't have to do for others what they can do for themselves in order to gain love, in order to be valuable, in order to um, be worthy to... I can't take it. Okay, there we go. We are at the bottom of the deck. Good Lord. Okay. Yep. Look at him. He's right there in the middle with his little new opportunity. If you've been in grief or grieving and you are so focused on the sadness and the loss and the pain, maybe even guilt, I don't know, um, it's time for you to turn around and cross the bridge Let the let what is gone be gone, and you can grieve it, okay. But I feel like you've got this perspective on it that needs to change, okay. If you're sad and it's not working out, turn around and go find your two cups. You don't have to be a martyr. You don't have to stay 
in victim mode or feel guilty because something didn't work out. Some things are not supposed to work out because we're supposed to be learning something about ourselves in relationship. We're supposed to be learning about loss as human beings. We're supposed to be learning about forgiveness. We're supposed to be learning about letting go. We're supposed to be learning about life and the cycles of life. So you may see at the bottom of the deck here is your card, Pisces. Neptune. Change your perspective, okay? And underneath that is this whole new opportunity. And I feel like here he is holding it. He's He turns around and he has this new opportunity here, the seed. Um, Mm, or he hears about a new opportunity, or he, or she, you know, don't get all twisted with the pronouns and stuff, okay? I know that that's a big thing, but I'm old, and that's the person I see on there is a male, Okay. But it can be a he or she. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. This person um, can turn around and maybe, oh yes, be grateful for the experience and take something from it. And as this person manifested something from the loss or the pain moves into a whole new rebirth of sorts um he can kind of see the meaning and the value and the justice and the um, hopefulness of whatever it was that he went through. It could be that there was something like a... a Maybe something happened in your relationship and maybe, you know, you've been kind of like hanging out and wondering what you should do. And maybe it's time for you to change your perspective and learn from it and take something from it and allow um, your relationship to level up in a way because of that thing, whatever it was. Maybe it was a betrayal. Maybe it was, you know, um, just things didn't work out like you thought they were going to. And you're supposed to be able to accept that and give new life to your relationship because you've because you have Sort of like this new understanding of and grace from God. I don't why do I feel like there's guilt here? I don't know. Why do I feel like there's guilt? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know.
take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? And what, for water signs, what is the potential outcome? thing that I say on Instagram, repurpose pain. And as I'm staring in, at the judgment card, that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking or what's coming to me. Um, rise up. It may have looked and felt like one thing. Grieve it, let it go, do what you need to, but turn around and look at those two cups that are standing and take this opportunity to do something with it, to repurpose it, to give it new life and new meaning and, you know, recognize that all throughout our lives, that that's the opportunity that we have. To become bitter or better, you know, what do you want? Hey, water signs. That's not very romantic, does it? Venus moving through Pisces. Venus moving through Pisces. Don't get too sappy. Don't get too caught up in all the waterworks about it. You know, it's okay. But, I don't know. People can tend, water signs can tend to get super emo about stuff and it's not necessary. It's necessary to go through grief and letting go and um, allowing yourself to feel pain, remorse, regret, um, sadness, but don't want to stay there forever. It's some sort of like self-flagellation. No. Okay, outcome. Potential outcome for water signs. Water signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Go to astro.com to get your natal chart and find out where your Venus is. What sign? It's really important. Come on. What is the potential outcome for water science here? Thank you. Oh, wow. runneth over and you heal and you deal you can wholly authentically offer your cup and receive a cup from another person in this mutually healing exchange from a healed perspective, from a balanced masculine, feminine, giving, receiving, um, asserting, asserting um, receptive space. This energy goes back and forth and it entwines. So possible outcome, repurpose your pain. I'm the boss man. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> so going through each of the individual water signs, what specifically does Cancer need to know? If I didn't already say, say this, I sh shuffled the cards in between the elements and you are good to go. So Cancer, what does Cancer need to know? Aww. I'm hearing Venus if you will. Da -da, don't know the word but the song. Venus if you will. Huh. What does Cancer need to know? Cancer need to know. One message, extra message. Specific to Cancer. Specific to Cancer. No, that's just weird. <laughs> I'll tell you, I don't understand why. But it's another one rides the bus, okay? So the actual song song was another one bites the dust, but Weird Al Yankovic, I think that's how you say his name, was another one bites the dust. So another one bites the dust is another one's gone and another one's gone and another one bites the dust, but on another one rides the bus, another gets on and it gets on and it gets on. So I guess you get to decide, you know, do you have all these uh, extra opportunities um, coming your way, or are you going to stay in that sort of, oh, what was me, like, you know, another one bites the dust energy, I don't know, oh, simply love, mm -hmm. so work on healing that inner child, the messages that you received that have been passed along, you know, heal that inner child so that you can pass on your knowledge and your wisdom and your resilience um, and healing to your to the next generation and go back and figure out you know what messages did you receive as a child what did you want as a child What were your fantasies, idealizations? What needs to come be more realistic? And it could be your healing past life stuff, especially with this judgment card. That you're what you're going through right now is healing past karmic lessons. Okay, that's what I'm going to say about that. Um, okay, the next water sign would be Scorpio. What Scorpio need to know? Scorpio. Scorpio as Venus transits Pisces. Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Hmm. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I don't know what's going on with all these songs. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like there's a DJ in my head right now. Wasn't like this with all the signs, but it's like there's a DJ in my head right now that's just... playing these songs. So, all right, Cancer, so you want to know, or I'm sorry, okay, Scorpio is somewhere over the rainbow. Mm 
If we can get through it, the whole point is, you know what? If little birds can do it, why can't I? Right? Ugh. Darkest fears. Okay. So if you're thinking of all of the negative stuff, right? Like what all the what can go wrong. If you're staying in the regret and the darkness and maybe even the bitterness um, and you're not and you're thinking of all the, the negative aspects, just remind yourself, these are only thoughts. These are thoughts that can change. I can change the way I think about this situation. I can turn around and I can do something with what I gained from this loss. And I can turn it into... a soul growth lesson so that I can truly authentically from my highest possible self right now go and manifest a more healthy cup offering reception of whatever a relationship balanced relationship Okay? Don't let your fears or negative thoughts block you from healing and receiving what this is supposed to be bringing to you, even though you went through challenging times. Okay? Okay. Scorpio. And now... You know, if little bluebirds can fly over the rainbow, why can't you? Why can't you be hopeful and find renewed a, a renewed sense of love for yourself, of worthiness and self-compassion that you can offer then once your cup floweth over? To another person why can't you there's no reason why only your limiting fearful thoughts it's dark places we don't need to go you can go there there's no judgment but don't stay there you know when you're practicing mindfulness you become aware of the thoughts and you observe them and you recognize wait that's not you learn to challenge them you don't judge them. You just recognize them, observe them, listen to them, and kind of then start exploring, well, where did that come from? Is, are they true? I'm never going to love again. No, they're not true. Okay, and this is for Pisces. Shine like the sun, baby. It's all about you. Live large. Express yourself. Don't hold back right now. Whatever brings you joy, whatever makes you feel like you're shining from the inside out and you're just exuding the dreaminess, the loving kindness, the gentleness, the um, romance, do it. This absolutely do it. Um, what, okay, let me sh look. Her 
her through the heart chakra is bursting forth the sun, the healing energy. And in the heart chakra, we also contain, you know, sadness and grief. But there's that sign, there's that saying like something about the wounding, that's where the light gets in or something like that. But when you repurpose your pain and your lessons and recognize the beauty in the growth that it provides. You can shine even brighter, shine out more love, more compassion, um, more hopefulness, more dreaminess. out into the, to the world and help us all. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, Pisces. And then I, mm, oh. mm. weird shockwave through my tooth. Uh, let's get a, does something need to be said here? Do the work. Do the work that you need to do to get to this place of healing and repurposing your pain. And that is emotional, mental work. Doesn't have to be, you know, you have to do a certain job or it has to, you know, be laborious. It's, it, it, it's, It's education and healing and transmutation practically applied in your life. That's the work. For water signs, what do water signs need to hear from the angels? Divine white light. Water signs need to hear. How did I start this? I don't know. Oh my god. Water signs, you went really a long time. That's crazy. I wonder why. Okay. It's shuffling. All right, I'm taking that. Brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action and bring your idea to fruition. Hmm. I'm riding on a unicorn. I don't think that there is a dream that you could have right now that is too fantastical or too out there. You go for it. But make sure you're dreaming big and in faith. Overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah, the, or Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. You can put down that those ones in the struggle. You're surmounting any previous challenges. Yes. And you know what to do. Archangel Uriel. 
trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So apparently something, you're intuiting something, you're getting some new sparks, ideas, maybe they're the ideas that are coming out of this grief or, you know, after taking some time to uh, hang upside down and get a new perspective, um, that you are understanding that, yes, now you can do something, um, turn around and uh, do something with what you've gone through. Um, okay, okay, all right. Water signs. Thank you, um, honey, be you. And remember that you have purpose and meaning just because you're here, you're purposeful and you matter and what you do matter and what you um, go through matters um, because you're we're all a part of one big ocean and so if it's affecting you it's affecting all of us and your healing is also um, affecting all of us and um, we'll shine your light uh, bright out there um, because you were designed specifically designed to be here at this time um, okay, honey, be you. I will uh, see you next time. Thanks. Bye.